In the previous videos, we took a look at the rise of Lionel Messi and saw him reach the summit of professional football. From the streets of Argentina to the glitter and glamour of Barcelona, it seemed Messi had already achieved everything. But as it is said, nothing is built to last. While Messi went from strength to strength, trouble was brewing in the background. We continue the story of one Lionel Messi. Under Luis Enrique, Messi and Barca had started in scintillating form. After completing yet another treble in 2014-15 season, things were looking up for both Barca and Messi. The 2015-16 season saw more success. Despite being knocked out by Atletico in the Champions League, Barca completed the domestic double, retaining the league title and winning the Copa del Rey. Messi played a pivotal role as usual, scoring 26 goals and 16 assists in 33 appearances in the league. Combine it with his 5 goals in Copa del Rey and 6 goals and 3 assists in Champions League, this season was yet another Messi masterclass. He also won the Ballon d'Or award for the fifth time in his career, cementing his status further as one of the greatest players of all time. But while Messi was flying high, Barca had a storm brewing on the horizon. 2016-17 season saw more of the same from Messi. Messi, alongside Neymar and Suarez, had proven to be a goal-scoring machine yet again. He scored 54 goals in 52 appearances across all competitions for Barcelona. Barca ended up winning the Copa del Rey and Spanish Super Cup. This season also saw Barca turn a 4-0 deficit against PSG to win the return leg at the Camp Nou 6-1 in the Champions League. To the air, it's scrappy, it's in the goal! Neymar can do here, Neymar hits it, oh what a goal! What a goal by Neymar, what a beautiful free kick! All cleared, it'll be a chance to play it in again. Neymar on the ball now, gets onto his left hand foot and plays it to the box. He's in the net! 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 One of the greatest comeback stories of all time. However, despite a scintillating season, Barcelona failed to retain the La Liga title. And despite the heroics against PSG in the round of 16, they were soundly beaten and dumped out of the Champions League by Juventus in the quarterfinals. Not being able to win either the league or the Champions League was a big no-no for Barcelona. By the end of the season, Luis Enrique had decided to leave Barcelona. Barca was soon going to find out that what goes up eventually comes down. Barcelona's success during this period was largely down to the incredible form of their front three, Lionel Messi, Neymar and Luis Suarez, who were dubbed the MSN Trio. They scored a total of 364 goals between them during the three-year period forming one of the most formidable attacking partnerships in football history. However, things were about to change. In the summer of 2017, rumors began to circulate that Neymar, one of the most talented football players in the world, was considering leaving Barcelona, the club that had made him a superstar. At first, many fans dismissed these rumors as mere speculations, but as the weeks went by, it became clear that there was something serious afoot. As the summer transfer window heated up, reports emerged that Paris Saint-Germain, one of the richest clubs in the world, was, was preparing to offer a record-breaking sum of money for Neymar's transfer. The rumors only intensified when Neymar failed to show up for Barcelona's preseason training camp, leaving fans and team management alike wondering where he was and what his intentions were. Finally, on August 3, 2017, the news broke that Neymar had indeed signed with PSG in a deal worth a staggering 222 million euros, making him the most expensive player in history. The news sent shockwaves through the football world with many fans and pundits questioning the wisdom of such a move 
and wondering what it meant for the future of the sport. In the aftermath of Neymar's departure, tensions between Barcelona and PSG ran high, with the Spanish club accusing the French team of breaking FIFA's rules on player transfers. This whole saga kind of needs its own video, but for now, the MSN trio was no more. Ernesto Valverde took over as the club manager. His pragmatic approach and solid defensive structure were often criticized for not being in line with the attacking style of play that Barcelona was known for. But his results spoke for themselves. In his first season in charge, he led Barcelona to a domestic double of La Liga and Copa del Rey. However, the over-reliance on Messi was quite apparent by now. Messi had a stellar campaign, scoring 34 goals and providing 12 assists in La Liga. He also scored 6 goals in the Champions League. However, Barcelona were knocked out in the quarterfinals by Roma in a shock defeat. The first leg of the tie was played at the Camp Nou, where Barcelona dominated proceedings and won 4-1. However, the second leg at the Stadio Olimpico in Rome saw a complete turnaround as Roma produced a remarkable comeback to win the match 3-0 and progress to the semi-finals on away goals. While Messi's performances earned him several individual awards, including the European Golden Shoe and the FIFA World Cup Golden Ball, Barcelona's soft underbelly was getting exposed. Valverde's second season in charge saw a decline in Barcelona's performances, with the team struggling to find consistency and lacking the flair and creativity that had been their trademark. Yet again, they depended heavily on Messi. In La Liga, Messi was once again the league's top scorer, netting an incredible 36 goals in just 34 appearances. He also provided 13 assists, helping Barcelona win the 26th La Liga title. In the Champions League, Messi was instrumental in Barcelona's run to the semi-finals, scoring 12 goals and providing 3 assists in 10 appearances. However, the team suffered a humiliating exit from the Champions League at the hands of Liverpool. Capitalised on the mistake, here's Henderson, he's away! Good save, he scored! There's one back! Divo Carrigi! Sadio Mane is on his way into the middle, so is Wayne. Now then! Oh, it's in! Off the bench, he scored! Liverpool get a second goal in front of the cop. Why now then? Oh, it's three! Liverpool are all the way back! Here, since he was six, and he spotted that! Oh, the corner! They caught Barcelona napping! Brilliant thinking by Alexander Arnold! For the second season in a row, Barcelona couldn't hang on to a handy first leg lead and questions were beginning to be asked about Valverde's ability to coach this team. Despite another stellar season for Messi that saw him win a host of individual awards including the European Golden Shoe, the La Liga Best Player Award and the FIFA Best Men's Player Award, questions were asked of him too. The team seemed to lack confidence and just couldn't handle pressure situations. Despite the disappointment in the Champions League, Valverde was allowed to continue as the manager for the 2019-20 season. However, his reign came to an abrupt end in January 2020 when he was sacked after a defeat to Atletico Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup. Off the field, Barcelona's financial issues were compounding as well. Since Neymar's unceremonious departure in 2017, Barcelona weren't shy of splashing the cash on mega transfers and gigantic wages. In 2017, Barcelona made headlines with its record-breaking 105 million euro transfer of Ousmane Dembele from Borussia Dortmund. The young French winger was seen as a replacement for Neymar, who had left for Paris Saint-Germain in a world record 222 million euros transfer. Dembele's time at Barcelona has been marked by injury struggles and inconsistent form, raising questions about the club's decision to spend so much money on a player with such little experience. In 2018, Barcelona made another high-profile signing with the 160 million euros acquisition of Brazilian midfielder Felipe Coutinho from Liverpool. The move was seen as an attempt to fill the void left by Andres Iniesta's departure, but Coutinho struggled to adapt to Barcelona's style of play and was eventually loaned out to Bayern Munich. 
Barcelona's transfer woes continued in 2019 with the 120 million euro signing of Antoine Griezmann from Atletico Madrid. The move was met with criticism from fans and experts alike who questioned whether Griezmann was a good fit for the team and whether the transfer fee was justified. Griezmann has struggled to find his form at Barcelona, raising further doubts about the club's decision to sign him. Perhaps the most controversial transfer of all came in 2020 when Barcelona spent 72 million euros on Brazilian midfielder Miralem Pjanic while selling promising young midfielder Arthur to Juventus for 82 million euros. The move was widely criticized as a short-sighted financial decision that showed the club's lack of vision for the future. Barcelona also made several questionable signings such as Paulinho from Guangzhou Evar Grande who failed to impress during his brief stint at the club. Another example was the signing of Kevin Prince Boateng on loan from Sassuolo which was widely criticized as a desperate move by the club. Subsequently, the club's financial troubles have only deepened. In 2019, Barcelona was fined 300 euros by the Spanish Football Federation for violating transfer rules in connection with the signings of Antoine Griezmann. The club was also investigated for tax fraud related to the signing of Neymar and other transfers. While on field, performances kept dropping, off it, Barcelona was in turmoil and it was all going to come to head very shortly. Lionel Messi had another outstanding season in 2019-20. Despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic and the disruption it caused to the football calendar. In La Liga, Messi scored 25 goals and provided 21 assists in just 33 appearances, leading Barcelona to a second-place finish in the league. His tally of assists set a new record in La Liga, surpassing the previous record of 20 assists set by Xavi Hernandez in the 2008-09 season. In the Champions League, Messi once again led Barcelona's charge, scoring three goals and providing three assists in seven appearances. However, the team suffered a disappointing exit in the quarterfinals, losing 8-2 to Bayern Munich in a shock defeat. This was one of the most spineless performances ever put on the field by Barcelona. Everyone was wondering about the goings-on in Barcelona, but off the field, Barcelona's conditions were even more dire. Barcelona's financial issues have only worsened since 2020 as the COVID-19 pandemic caused a significant drop in revenue for the club. The team was hit hard by the lack of fans in the stadium as well as the postponement of major football events such as the UEFA Euro which would have generated additional income for the club. In October 2020, Barcelona announced that it had accumulated a debt of over 1 billion euros, including 730 million euros in short-term debt. The debt was largely attributed to the club's high wage bill, which accounted for over 70% of its total expenditure. The club had also failed to generate significant revenue from player sales in recent years, further exacerbating its financial problems. Messi had become disillusioned with the club's direction under its board and new coach Ronald Koeman. He had also clashed with the club's former president Josep Maria Bartomeu over his management of the club and the sale of several key players. One of the most significant exits were that of Messi's close friend and strike partner Luis Suarez, who joined Atletico Madrid after being deemed surplus to requirements by new coach Ronald Koeman. Suarez had been one of Barcelona's top scorers for several years and his departure was seen by many fans as a sign of the club's decline. Messi made the decision to leave Barcelona, announcing his intention to depart in August 2020. However, the club disputed his interpretation of his contract, arguing that the clause that would have allowed him to leave for free had already expired. A legal battle ensued, with Messi and his representatives arguing that the clause should have been extended due to the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on the season. The situation reached a fever pitch with Messi threatening to take the club to court and the board threatening to take legal action against him. In the end, Messi opted to stay at Barcelona for another season. 
unwilling to drag out the legal battle any further. However, the episode left a bitter taste in the mouths of Barcelona fans who had seen their beloved icon pushed to the brink of departure. Despite all the off-field drama, Messi continued performing at a high level for Barcelona throughout the 2020-21 season. In La Liga, Messi scored 30 goals in 35 appearances, finishing as the league's top scorer for the fourth consecutive season. He also provided 11 assists, making him one of the most productive players in the league. His impressive performances helped Barcelona finish third in the league and secure a place in the Champions League for the following season. Messi also played a key role in Barcelona's Copa del Rey triumph, scoring two goals in the final against Athletic Bilbao to secure the team's first major trophy in two years. Despite the team's struggles in the Champions League, Messi once again showed his class on the biggest stage, scoring five goals and providing three assists in the competition. His standout performance came in the second leg of the round of 16 tie against Paris Saint-Germain, where he scored two goals and provided an assist to give Barcelona a glimmer of hope, although ultimately the team were knocked out of the competition. Messi's best effort weren't good enough and the bigger issues were only coming to fore as the season wound down. In the aftermath of the 2020-21 season, it had become clear that Barcelona's financial challenges were way more dire than thought before with mounting debt and a bloated wage bill putting the club's future in doubt. While several key players had already been sold thus far, it soon became apparent that even a player of Messi's stature would not be immune from the financial pressures facing the club. Negotiations over a new contract from Messi dragged on for months, with the player reportedly seeking a deal that would allow him to continue playing for Barcelona while also ensuring that he would not take a pay cut. However, as the summer of 2021 wore on, it became clear that the two sides were still far apart in the negotiations and that time was running out for Messi to sign a new contract. In August 2021, it was reported that Barcelona had informed Messi that they would not be able to sign him to a new contract due to club's financial situation. The news sent shockwaves through the football world, with fans and pundits alike struggling to come to terms with the idea of Messi playing for any other team than Barcelona. In the days that followed, there were rumors that Messi might be able to stay with the club if he agreed to take a significant pay cut. However, La Liga's player salary rules did not allow for such a pay cut. These negotiations ultimately proved fruitless and on August 5, 2021, Barcelona announced that Messi would be leaving the club. Lionel Messi's tearful departure from Barcelona was a moment that will forever be etched in the hearts and minds of the club's fans. For over two decades, Messi had been the driving force behind Barcelona's success, leading the team to countless titles and cementing his place as one of the greatest footballers of all time. The scene was a somber one as Messi gave his final press conference at the Camp Nou, the stadium where he had made so many memories over the years. Tears streamed down his face as he spoke of his love for the club and his disappointment at having to leave. Vito siempre por esta por este club, por esta camiseta, eh, simplemente gracias a todo el mundo. The reason for Messi's departure were complex, but ultimately came down to the club's financial difficulties and their inability to renew his contract within the constraints of La Liga's financial fair play rules. Despite all efforts to reach an agreement, Messi ultimately made the difficult decision to leave the club he had called home for his entire career. It wasn't the end of a chapter, it was the end of an entire storybook. But as they say, when one door closes, another opens and it was time for a new chapter in Messi's story. The footballing world was in disbelief over the fact that Messi would no longer be playing for the club that he had become synonymous with. Many speculated about where he would go next, with some predicting a move to Manchester City to reunite with his former coach Pep Guardiola or 
even a return to his native Argentina. But in the end, it was Paris Saint-Germain who won the race for Messi's signature, stunning the world with their audacious move for one of the greatest footballers of all time. The signing was met with disbelief and excitement as fans around the world eagerly awaited the moment when Messi would don the famous blue and red of PSG. The negotiations between Messi's camp and PSG were shrouded in secrecy, with rumors circulating about the size of the transfer fee and the length of Messi's contract. As the days went by, the tension grew, with fans on both sides of the Atlantic eagerly following every twist and turn of the saga. Finally, on August 10, 2021, Messi arrived in Paris to complete his move to PSG with thousands of fans lining the streets to welcome him to his new home. The scenes were electric, with Messi visibly moved by the outpouring of support and adulation from the fans. Messi's first game for PSG came on August 29, 2021, when he made his debut in a 2-0 win over Rams. Over Rams. He quickly settled into the team, forming a deadly attacking trio with Kylian Mbappe and Neymar. The trio, nicknamed m and were widely regarded as the most talented attacking lineup in the world. Lionel Messi had some injury issues during the season. In November 2021, he suffered a knee injury during a game against Lyon, which forced him to miss several games for PSG and the Argentine national team. He returned to action in December, but suffered another injury in January 2022, which again sidelined him for a few weeks. Despite these injury setbacks, Messi still managed to make a significant impact for PSG throughout the season. He scored important goals in crucial matches and a crucial equaliser in the 1-1 draw against Real Madrid in the same competition. Despite his injuries, Messi's performances were still exceptional and he was a key player for PSG as they won their fourth consecutive league and title. However, his injuries did raise concerns among fans and analysts about his fitness and his ability to maintain his high level of performance as he gets older. Messi ended up scoring 28 goals and provided 10 assists in all competitions. Combined with Mbappe and Neymar, the three players scored a combined total of 88 goals in the season. Messi's stay in Paris has not been short of its own controversies. PSG is in a state of chaos and while stat-wise Messi has performed to his usual standard, club fans question his commitment and motivation around playing for PSG. In the World Cup year when he accomplished the biggest dream of his whole career, on which we'll make a video shortly, it is inferred that he doesn't have the same spark as he used to. Moreover, there's been strong rumors of Barcelona trying to woo Messi back to the Camp Nou at the time of making this video those rumors haven't come to fruition. Lionel Messi has had a squeaky clean image for most of his playing career. Regarded as one of the best ever to play the sport, he's also led a life befitting of a role model. However, even the best cannot escape scandals, the most famous one being tax evasion. The Lionel Messi tax evasion scandal involved allegations that Messi and his father, Jorge Messi, evaded taxes on income from the player's image rights. In 2013, Spanish authorities opened an investigation into the matter after a complaint was filed by a prosecutor. Messi and his father were accused of using tax havens in Belize and Uruguay to conceal income from image rights deals with companies such as Adidas, PepsiCo and Danone. They were alleged to have avoided paying 4.1 million euros in taxes between 2007 and 2009. In 2016, a court in Barcelona found Messi and his father guilty of three counts of tax fraud and sentenced them to 21 months in prison, later reduced to probation, and fined them 3.7 million euros. Messi's father, who was also his agent, was given a slightly longer prison sentence. Both men denied any wrongdoing and argued that they were unaware of the details of their financial affairs. The case generated significant media attention and sparked a debate over tax evasion in professional football. Messi's reputation was also tarnished, although his standing as one of the greatest footballers of all time remained intact. 
As we reflect on a stellar career of Lionel Messi, we have to remind that his career is not over yet. Far from it. We still have to see what the future holds for this gem of a player. And while this video may seem a bit more negative, it still confirms the point that despite all the adversities, Messi never stopped being Messi. In our upcoming video, we'll cover the international career of Lionel Messi and how he finally conquered the final frontier. Thank you for watching. Like if you like the video, share if you find it worthy and subscribe. This is Salty Football.